Welcome students. Today we will discuss about properties of colloidal solutions and in this we will basically focus on two properties. First one is Tyndall effect and the second one is Brownian movement. So let's start our discussion about Tyndall effect. So the first question is what is Tyndall effect? Actually it is observed that when an intense converging beam of light is passed through, the, through a colloidal solution which is kept in dark the path of the beam gets illuminated actually this means that whenever light a beam of light if is passed through a colloidal soul the path of light beam of light gets visible you see this image this is a source of light and the light is being passed through two different solutions the first one is a true solution the second one is a colloidal solution the path of light is not visible in true solution while it is visible in case of colloidal solution so whenever light is passed through a colloidal soul its path gets visible and this is known as Tyndall effect now why does it happen this happens because the particles of colloidal solutions the colloidal particles scatter the beam of light into different directions because of which the path of light gets visible just see this diagram a light is coming it is colliding with the colloidal particle and that colloidal particle is scattering the light in different direction because of which the path is visible and then, then the next question is why only the colloidal particles scatter light and why not the particles of true solutions and then the answer is in order to scatter light when if a particle want to scatter the light its size must be comparable with the wavelength of light so in case of colloidal solution the dimension of the colloidal particles are comparable to the wavelength of ultraviolet and visible radiation and that's why they scatter these radiations and get illuminated while in case of true solutions the particle size is very very small as compared to the colloidal particle size and also the wavelength of light coming and because of which they do not scatter their path and they don't get visible in the true solutions okay so what are the examples of colloidal solutions yes oh sorry what are the examples of this Tyndall effect yes you may have seen the blue color of sky that the blue color of sky is basically because of scattering of light blue light into atmosphere by the particles of air which is are of colloidal size next example is this one you must have observed this phenomena that whenever a light which is come uh, light comes through uh, the leaves of tree it, their path gets visible and very small tiny dust particles can be seen in moving through within these the path of these lights so why because that air that air particle air is a colloidal solution and the dust particles which are present in air scatter the path of light coming through the leaves of tree and because of which this phenomena is observed and the next example is this whenever light enters into a dark room through a window or any other passage its path gets visible and small tiny colloidal particles of air the colloidal dust particles are can be seen moving into the path of light and this is another example the next property is brownian movement now what are these so this was first of all observed by a scientist robert brown in 1827 that the colloidal particles are always under continuous zigzag movement colloidal particles whenever they are observed in the microscope ultra microscope they are always moving in random directions no direction and no fixed direction in random direction but they are continuously moving in this type of directionless movement continuous movement is known as zigzag motion this type colloidal particle moves in random direction zigzag motion and this the continuous zigzag movement of the colloidal particles in the dispersion medium is called colloidal movement this random motion is called colloidal movement 
then the next question which comes in mind that why why does it happen why the colloidal particles are under random motion then the answer is because the moving molecules of the dispersion medium continuously attack on the colloidal particles from all the sides and because of which they impart momentum to them this is just for example if this is a dispersion uh, this is a colloidal particle then it is continuously attacked by the moving molecule of dispersion medium in different different direction which imparts movement into them because of this collision from the molecules it starts moving in different direction they are all so so this is the reason behind why that this is the reason that why do colloidal particles show brownian movement the answer is they are continuously attacked by the moving the moving particles of the moving molecules of dispersion medium and which imparts movement momentum to them and because of which they start moving in zigzag motion and this brownian movement is very important because it is only because of this brownian movement that the colloidal souls are stable now why they are stable we know and they do not settle down under the influence of gravity stability means the colloidal solution the colloidal particles do not settle down under the influence of gravity we know that there is a gravitational force which is continuously attracting the colloidal particles toward the bottom but the particles are in continuous zigzag motion because of which a counter force acts which keeps them up and they do not settle down under the influence of gravity now this brownian movement decreases with increase in size of the colloidal particle when the size increases their speeds get decrease obviously because when the size will be larger mass will also be greater and because of which they will move with less velocity and this is only that why the particles of suspension which are of very larger size do not show brownian movement so this was the brownian movement we discussed two properties brownian movement and tyndall effect both are very important i hope things were clear to you you should undergo these topics number of times as these are important let me finish with this thank you